Okay, now in the next problem, okay, now what you're going to see before we go into the notes, you're going to solve more quadratic equations, but I want you to factor them, okay? I need you to develop the factoring skills. Now there's going to be an ax squared, a bx, and there's going to be another number that doesn't even have an x known as c, okay? You need it equal to zero. Then what you're going to do today, you're going to see if there's a GCF, but then you got to take it a step further, and you need to go to that T table and make your two parentheses, and that's where we're going to get our F1, F2. So the other day, the last time we did AX squared and BX, there was no C, and that was all there was to it. Now it's a little more complicated because you're going to have an AX squared of BX and a C, okay, equals zero. Now, so you're always going to want to pay attention to what your A is when you map out those parentheses. Just trust me, okay? All right, so let's solve some of these. you got four to do. So x second plus 5x. And also, on your assignment with this T-chart, if you can't get one of these to work out, send me an email, and I'll vlog it and send it to you so you can make the correction, Okay. So if you get, because I know how frustrating that is when you do your T-table and you can't find it, okay? So just tell me the number, or the numbers, if it's three out of the four, that's fine, okay? And then I'll vlog it and send it to you. So there's two answers. Now put your A, B, C label. So you're going to put a one there, and that's your A, that's your B, that's your C. So you're equal to zero. First, we're going to do the GCF. Now, this GCF thing is going to seem very pointless here today in this video, but it's going to help later on if you think about it. And then I need a table worth my T-chart, and then I'll make my parentheses down there. I need to know what the A equals. So that's a setup. Now, if you look at three numbers, 1, 5, and 14, really 1 would be the GCF. And we also can't put x with the 1 because we have this 14 that doesn't even have an x, okay? So we will not be putting an x there. Now, if the GCF's 1, going up and dividing by 1 is kind of pointless because when I divide something just by 1, it doesn't change. Now, if I had an x with the 1, things would change, but it's just a 1. So just don't do it. Just don't worry about that. Now, what you do is you take your a times your c, okay? You take 1 times negative 14, okay? Again, a times your c, 1 times negative 14. Well, that's negative 14. So we know that two things to multiply to a negative, we need a positive times a negative. And we need to add, I'll put it inside here. We need to add the factors so that they get positive 5. Now, you did an assignment like this last week, okay? So this is the same thing. So I start dividing 14 by numbers. So 14 divided by 1 is 14. But 1 plus negative 14 is not 5. Okay. So do positive negative again. Next number would be 2. So I take 14 divided by 2. I got 7. So I write down 2 and the answer I got. Now, if I add 2 plus negative 7, I get negative 5. It's the right number, so I have the right numbers. I just need to change the sign so that it can be negative 5, so, or positive 5, my bad. So I need plus 7 minus 2. You just switch both of them. Now, what's my A? My A is just a 1. So if A is a 1, you're allowed to delete it, and you just need two parentheses. Because you know you had x to the second, so that's x times x minus 2 plus 7 equals 0. And now I have my f1, my f2. So x minus 2 could equal 0, or x plus 7 could equal 0. So I just plus 2. So 2 is my first answer. Minus 7, negative 7 is going to be my second answer. Okay? All right, and I'll be doing two problems kind of per page so I can get it to look like the packets normally do. x second minus 11x plus 24 equals 0. So again, two answers. So if you know, you need to label your A, your B, your C. Now make sure you're equal to 0, you are. Okay, GCF. Then my table. 
So 111 and 24 would just be 1, okay? And then we can't do x, so having just a 1, we just don't do that. So now I take the a times the c, I take 1 times 24. 1 times 24, that would be positive 24. So if I have a positive, two things that multiply to a positive, well, it could be a negative times a negative. It could also be a positive times a positive, but let's start with the negatives and see if we have to switch it, okay? And I, I can always switch them. Add to negative 11, okay? So 24 divided by 1 is 24. No. If I divide 24 by 2, I get 12. Negative 2 plus negative 12 would be negative 14, okay? So that, won't, that can't work. Okay, 24 divided by 3 would be 8. Now add negative 3 to negative 8, see if that's negative 11. Yep, and I don't change the signs because I want it to be negative, okay? So A is 1. So that means you can cancel the 1, and it's just x minus 3 times x minus 8. So that's f1, that's f2. So x minus 3 could equal 0, x minus 8 could equal 0. So we just add 3, that would give me 3 for the one solution. Add 8, add 8, that would give me 8 for the second. So 3 and 8. Okay, now the game's going to change a little bit, okay? You're going to have x to the second plus 6x equals 55. So there's two solutions. You have an A, you have a B, you have a C. But the problem is we need 0. So to get 55 to 0, I'd subtract 55. Now, 55 was a C, and that would give me 0. 55 is a C. I don't have any Cs over here, so I just put minus 55 at the end and label it C. Okay? So I have 1x to the second plus 6x minus 55 equals 0. Now I go into my process. The GCF is always going to be 1, so if you just want to skip that, you can. and Just go to your table. I'm just showing you. It would be 1, and there would be no x, so really that, that's a pointless thing to do. So 1 times negative 55, that would be negative 55, okay? So I'm going to do a positive and a negative, okay, because negative. Positive times negative is a negative, and we have to add the factors to get to plus 6, positive 6. So divide by 1, I get 55, add those, that's not even close. Okay. Now, before I write 2 down, let's see if 55 is even divisible by 2. Nope, it's a decimal. Is it divisible by 3? Nope. How about 4? Nope. How about 5? Bingo. 5 and 11. Now, let's add those because, remember, we have to get them to add to positive 6. So 5 plus negative 11. Well, that's negative 6. So we have the right numbers. We can stop dividing. We just need to change the signs because now negative 5 plus 11 is positive 6. Okay, A is 1, so you can just delete the 1. If it's a 1, you're allowed, any other number you can't delete it, which we'll talk about in a for future video. So that's just x minus 5 and x plus 11. So f1, f2. So x minus 5 could equal 0 is one possible answer. x plus 11 equals 0. So we add 5. Now I get 5 for my first answer. Minus 11. You get negative 11 for your second. Okay. Okay, moving right along. Next problem. x to the second plus x minus 6 equals 0. So there's two answers. So a is 1, b is 1, c is negative 6, and we have our 0, so that's good. So I can go ahead and make my, the GCF on all these is 1, so that's why I'm not going to make that box anymore. 
So 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. So we got a negative that's a positive times a negative. And we need to add to try to get to plus 1. 1 and negative 6 won't do that. Divide by 2, you get 3. Now see if, two, if positive 2 and negative 3. Okay, negative 1. I got the right numbers, I just got the wrong signs. So plus 3 minus 2. And with a as a 1, we go up and delete the 1. So it's x second. So it's x minus 2, x plus 3. All I've done is rewritten that into the two parentheses that multiply out, that foil out to it. Of 2. So x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0. So I add 2, and we get 2. Subtract 3, we get negative 3. 2 and negative 3. Okay, next one. x to the second plus 3x equals 18. So there are two answers. Okay. So you got A, B, C, but you have that problem again where you don't have the 0. So you need a minus 18, which gives me 0. Now that's a C. Do we have any C's on the other side? No, we don't. So we just put minus 18 behind it, and that's your C. So you have 1x to the second, A, plus 3x, B, minus 18, C equals 0. And when you rewrite it, it should be A, B, C. Okay, go to your T, and we're going to take A times C. So 1 times negative 18 is negative 18. It's a positive times a negative, so we're adding to try to get to plus 3. So 18 divided by 1 is 18. No, that does not add up to positive 3. 18 divided by 2 is 9. No, that does not add up to positive 3. Why am I circling it? Been a long day. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Add those. Yeah, that's negative 3, so we got the right numbers, just the wrong signs. Plus, minus. Still got to be a positive and a negative. If we flip-flop them, then it adds up to 3. A is a 1 once you get rid of him. If it's a 1, you can get rid of it and just write x minus, rewrite that as x minus 3 times x plus 6. So f1, f2. So x minus 3 could equal 0, x plus 6 could equal 0. So we plus 3, I get 3, minus 6, and we get negative 6. Okay, next problem, similar to the last one, x squared minus 2x equals 24. Then things start to get a little tricky when it comes to rewriting it. A, B, C. Again, you got you don't have the 0, so minus 24 gives us the 0. That was a C I just took away. There's no C's over there, so I just put it at the end. And I put my A first, followed by my B, followed by my C equals 0. Uh, factor, okay? So 1 times negative 24 is negative 24, so that's a positive times a negative, okay? We're trying to add to get to negative 2. So 24 divided by 1 is 24, that does not add to negative 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2 plus negative 12 is not going to be negative 2. 24 divided by 3 is 8, okay? If I add 3 to negative 8, that's going to be negative 5. That's not going to work. If I divide 24 by 4, I get 6, okay? 4 and 6. Okay, let's add positive 4 and negative 6. That's going to work, okay? Boom. Okay, A equals 1, so you can ditch the 1, okay? X plus 4. A 1 in front of a letter means you can ditch it from front of a letter. Any other number, no. So we have F1, F2. So X plus 4 could equal 0. 
x minus 6 could equal 0. So on minus 4, I get negative 4. And I add 6, I get positive 6. Okay. And those are the two answers. <coughs> okay, now things are going to start to get a little tricky as far as rewriting the equation. Once you get it rewritten, it's kind of, it's the same thing, but... Here's why it's tricky. We have an A. Now X is your B, and then the constant's your C. So that's a little bit different than we're used to. So we have to get that to a zero. Now is there a B over there to subtract from? No, there's not, so we put it behind. And remember, keep it labeled B. Just put minus 6X. That's, me. that's a minus 6X. Now you've got to be careful how you rewrite this. You have to have your A first. You have to have your B second, so the minus 6X has to come second. And then plus 8, your C comes third, equals 0. So you got to be careful. It goes A, B, C. Okay. And that will help you if you do that. Now everything's the same. Okay. 1 times 8 is 8. It's positive. So it's positive. The signs have to match. Okay. We'll start with them both as negatives. You can always switch them if it's the wrong sign. Divide by 1 is 8. Nope. Divide by 2 is 4. Bingo. Okay. So A is 1. You can ditch the 1. Okay. So it's X minus 2. X minus 4 equals 0. So X minus 2 could equal 0. Or X minus 4 could equal 0. So we add 2 and that's 2. Add 4, you get 4. Okay, next one we have x to the second. This is a good one. Minus 15x equals negative 8 minus 10. Okay, there's two answers. Now go live. The x squared, look for x to the seconds. So that's A. Now look for x's, that's B. You have two B's. Okay, that's okay. The numbers without x's are c's. Now, obviously, you're going to need 0 over here, so you need to get rid of both of these. Okay? So you're going to add 8x, and that's a b. Okay? So if there's a b already over there, you put plus 8x under it, Okay, not at the end. Then a c plus 10, and there's no c over there, so I put plus 10 at the end. Okay? So we go a first, 1x second. Then I do my B, but I have to combine negative 15 plus 8, okay? It's not 15 plus 8. Negative 15 plus 8 is negative 7. So minus 7X, and then I look for C's, just this plus 10 here. Now we're ready to roll. Okay, A times C, 1 times 10 is 10, that's positive 10, okay? So it's negative, negative. I can always switch it if I have to. Negative 7. So divide by 1, you get 10. That adds to negative 11. 10 divided by 2 gives me 5. So it's negative 2 plus negative 5. Negative 7. Okay. So A is 1, so you ditch the 1. Okay. So you just write X minus 2 times x minus 5 equals 0. Okay, so x minus 2 could equal 0. x minus 5 could equal 0. So we add 2. That's 2. Add 5. And that's 5. So 2 and 5 are the two answers. Okay, 2 left. Okay, x to the second minus 8 equals negative 13x plus 6. We have a similar situation to what we had on the last problem. Okay, find your x squared, so that's your a. Find x's, that would be b. And the numbers without x are the c's. So I add 13x. There's no b over here, so I just put plus 13x off to the side. Remember, keep that labeled b, because that's important later. And then plus 6. Now, we have a c over there, so we can minus 6 from the negative 8. Now, we put a first. 
then B, this is plus 13X, then C, okay? C I need to combine, I need to take negative 8 minus 6, okay? Not 8 minus 6, negative 8 minus 6. It's negative 14, and that's your C. But when you rewrite it, it's got to be A, B, C, just like that. Okay, 1 times negative 14 is negative 14. So it's a positive times a negative, trying to add to positive 13. Let's add 1 to negative 14, because I think that, okay, it's right numbers, just the wrong sign, because I need plus, so plus 14 minus 1. Now, A is 1, so you ditch the 1, and you rewrite that as x minus 1, x plus 14, okay? So F1, F2. So add 1, you get 1, subtract 14, and you get negative 14. Now one's a tricky one, okay? Remember, the ABC labels are your savior, okay? So you got a B, you add it, but there's a, if there's not a B, you put it, behind, put, just put it up above. If there's a C... On the other side, you put it under it so you can then combine those. Not by adding, though. You take negative 8 minus 6. Okay, then our last problem, we have x to the second plus 22 equals negative 23x. You want to be careful on this one, okay? Label your a, your b, your c. That don't look right, so obviously we need the 0. So plus 23x. Is there a B over there? Nope. So put it behind, but keep the B label on it so you know how to rewrite it. So A comes first, B comes second, and C comes third. Okay? It's got to be like that. X squared X constant. Okay? Now the GCS 1, so we don't have to waste time. Okay? So 1 times 22 is 22. It's positive, so it's a negative, negative. We're adding to get to plus 23. Okay, now if I take negative 1 plus negative 22, there we have it. Okay, negative 23. So plus, plus to make it positive 23, and A is 1. So I rewrite that as x plus 1, x plus 22. So x plus 1 equals 0, x plus 22 equals 0. So I get negative 1 and negative 22. Okay, now out of the 4, the only one you have equal to 0 is number 2. The other ones, you go A, B, C, you have to move the C over. 3, A, B, C, C, you would minus 7 under the negative 8. A, C, B, C. So the B I get rid of minus 8x, that has to go up above, and then I plus 10, plus 10 to the 5, okay? Remember to line it up properly.